Hey guys, and welcome to my 25 days of Christmas. This is day two, so let's just jump into it. <laughs> Today I'm going to be sharing with you my November beauty favorites. I did not do a favorites video last month. I just totally gapped it. It wasn't that I didn't want to do it. I just, time got away from me and I just spaced out. So I'm going to share with you what I have been loving for the month of November and maybe a little bit before. I'm also going to be sharing with you some products that didn't really work out for me. I'm just not the biggest fan of, but we will dive into my favorites first. So the first thing I want to mention I filmed, I already filmed a video with this. I did a whole review video on the Estee Lauder Double Wear, um, but that's going up after this one. So the foundation I've just been obsessed with other than my Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus, which I've already talked about that one, so I'm not mentioning it, um, has been the Estee Lauder Double Wear. This foundation is freaking amazing. The coverage is on point. It's a nice, beautiful matte, um, semi-matte to matte finish. Um, the color match is amazing. It wears... It just, when you put it on, like it, it, you have enough time to blend it out, but once it's blended out, it literally stays. And like, it's, it's a hard to describe, but you can feel that it's going to stay on your face. Just how it feels, like it's not an uncomfortable feeling. It's just, you can feel it sticking to your face in like the best way possible. So I know I'm so late on the game on this foundation, but I've just been completely obsessed with it. And once again, thank you Estee Lauder for sending this to me. I'm so grateful. Next I'm going to mention, and look you guys, I know you're probably just so tired of hearing about this, but the reason I mentioned this pencil is because I've just been using a different shade and I've been loving it. So this is the BH Studio Pro HD Brow Pencil. You guys have seen me mention this in literally every single video. I know you're probably tired of this, but this one is in the shade Medium. I was using um, Ash Brown or something similar to that. Uh, for the, no, brunette. I was using brunette for the longest time, and then I was using ebony when I was feeling a little darker, but I literally found my perfect pencil, and this is in the shade medium, because my hair, since I've moved here, has been turning a little warmer. Like, it's been pulling in a lot more auburn, even though my hair isn't auburn colored. And so, when I've been using medium, it has a little bit of a warmer undertone, so it's just been matching my hair, if you can see, so much better than it used to. Like, my brows always looked like, especially if I used flash, my brows would look gray in photos. It was getting really annoying. So when I picked up the shade Medium, this is literally my perfect brow pencil. So I just want to give it a mention. Um, actually, today, I think they're still doing 40% off on the website. So I will have a link to the brow pencil below. You can get it for, like, stupid cheap. And it's, like, the greatest dupe of life when it comes to brow pencils. Like, if you want Anastasia, but it's, like, do you want to spend, like, $21, $22, $23 on brow pencil? No. Get this one, I think right now you can get it for like four bucks, somewhere around there. Maybe even cheaper than that. So I'll have a link to it down below so you can go check it out. And if you want it at that, if you want the cheap product at an even cheaper price, I would order it today. So um link below and I've been loving that. I just I use it every single day. Something that I already talked to you guys about, it is in the giveaway that I'm doing, but this is the Morphe 9A. I got this at about the beginning of the month and I've just been loving it. It's the perfect everyday palette. I really like the pigment. I like how it blends out. As you can see, it's gotten so much love this month because like when I'm just doing my makeup for the day and I'm not filming, this is the exact palette that I've been using. I use it today for the look that I'm wearing. I actually filmed this look, which you'll see in a few days, but um, yeah, I just love it so much. So this is one that is in my giveaway, but um, yeah. I just want to mention that this has also been a favorite of mine, which is why I put it in the giveaway. <laughs> oh, one other eyeshadow palette that I've just been obsessing over is the Profusion Mixed Metals 9 Matte and 9, 9 Matte and Metallic Eyeshadows Eyeshadow Palette. This is from the Profusion Holiday line. Um, they You can get this at Target, and you can also get it off the Profusion website. So I'll have a link to both down below, depending on which shipping thing is easy for you guys or you guys can go check this out in store at Target if they have it in still in stock. They have two versions. This is the gold version. The other one has silver packaging and oh my gosh look how beautiful this palette is. It's so pretty you guys and I like it's just so neutral with you know two really good you have a more neutral champagne colored lid shade and then you have a gold for those people who love um you know really warm tones. I just I love the layout of the the shadows. I love the formula of the shadows. I love the colors that they chose. They they really did an amazing job with this palette. The packaging is so cute and chic and there's just this huge 
boss mirror in here. It's just amazing. So this has been a really, has been a much loved palette this month. So I thought I would mention this one as well. So the next one is, oh, it's so soft, is my favorite foundation brush right now, which is the one I received from the Wish app. I ordered this and I also added some of these in my giveaway because I love it so much. I'm just going to link my first impressions video of this down below, but I have been using this constantly. I've been going between this and then my Michael Todd, um, my Michael Todd Sonic Blend one, which is like one of those vibrating foundation brushes. But this is just so, in like a dollar. I'm obsessed with it. No streaks, amazing coverage. I can use this on my under eye. It's just freaking amazing. And everyone needs it in their lives, so I will link it down below. And yeah, so also check out my first impressions video if you have not seen it. I think my reaction was pretty hilarious because I was so darn shocked. But I just love it. And I think it's super cute. It's nice and short and chubby and fat and it's like white. They also have like other colors you can get. But I got the white ones for the giveaways because I'm not 100% sure if the other colors are from other sellers. And I want to make sure you guys got the exact one I got just on the off chance that I, just, I wanted to be just as amazing as it was for me. So that's why I got you guys each the white ones. Alright, so the next thing on my list are the ColourPop super nova shadows right here these are basically like an amazing dupe for the stila uh liquid those eyeshadows um those super glittery pigmented ones um i also did the dupe video with these so i'll link it down below so you can check that out but these have no fallout and they are super pigmented they are so pretty and when they dry they stay in place these have been my two favorites. That's why I'm just showing you these two. There are three others, unless they came out with more shades already, which I hope they come out with more shades very soon. But these have been my two favorites. These ones are in the shade um, Walk of Fame, which is the gold one, and then um, Moonlit, which is the purpley pink one. So these have just been amazing. I've used these, like it's very rare that I use a liquid shimmering eyeshadow a lot. And I've used each of these like two or three times each this month, which says a lot, you guys. These are amazing. I love them to death. Go check them out. They're like six bucks each. They're really cheap. No, they're $7 each. They're really cheap. I highly recommend them. So the next is a pair of lashes. I finally just decided to try the Coco lashes and I am obsessed with the style goddess. I'm not wearing them today because I only had one pair left. Um, cause I've been wearing them like mad and I want to be able to show them to you guys. I will link a picture though, like up here or over here where I'm wearing them so you can see what they look like on me. But I just, they're actually really comfortable. They are super inexpensive. I got these for like $7 each, which is the same price as some Ardell packs and things like that. And they are the quality of, I'd say like House of Lashes and stuff. So if you're looking for an affordable lash that looks like you know, the styles of like House of Lash and things like that. Check out Coco Lashes, specifically get them off of LadyMoss.com because if you go to Amazon, they're gonna try and charge you $15 a pair, but if you go to Lady Moss, um, they're like seven or eight dollars. They're eight dollars, but if you buy three or more, they're seven dollars each, I think. So yeah, I highly recommend Lady Moss to get your false lashes. I get basically all my lashes from there now. That and then the Wish app. Um, I've been getting a lot of their lashes as well. But I've been loving these a lot. They're super glam, but they're still super comfortable to wear. So I want to mention these to you guys. All right, so next in makeup is the LA Colors uh, Liquid Lipsticks. I'm wearing one right now in the shade Danger, and the other shades I have are, um, so Danger, and then I have Suede. These are my two favorites right here. And then they have a really good Nude, which is in the shade Vixen, and then they also have um, the shade Perfection. So I'm gonna swatch them for you, because um, if you haven't seen that video, like if this is the first video of mine you're seeing, then you're gonna wanna see this. Um, oh my gosh, I love how they swatch. They, this one is perfection. They swatch beautifully and they wear, like, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing a lipstick right now. Like, they're so comfortable um, and they layer really well. So, like, if it starts to fade, you can just put another layer on top and you're good to go. I don't know. It's hard to describe, but I just really love the formula, especially for the price. These were, like, two bucks each. Like, they're so, ex they're so inexpensive, yet they're so good. Um, I highly recommend them. So wherever you can find them. I got mine at Walgreens. So here's all four swatches. They haven't dried yet, but I love these a lot. They're so comfortable, super pretty, really inexpensive, and I highly recommend them if you're looking for a good liquid lipstick from the drugstore. I have one fashion item that I have. I know I never ever mentioned fashion in my favorites videos, but there's one I have to mention. 
Um, so if you guys follow me on Snapchat or you follow my fashion Instagram, you have seen this denim jacket a lot. This is from, oop, this is from Zoffo. I hope I can get the whole thing in the frame. I am absolutely addicted addicted to this jacket like I wear it so much and it's a little bit longer so it kind of covers the booty a little bit I just I love the quality and I love the color of the rips it's more of like an off-white instead of like a pure white and it just looks so freaking pretty and it was really inexpensive too I'm gonna have see if I can find it see if they still sell it and I will link it down below but I also so I love the sleeves I love all the rips. I, I like to roll up the sleeves. I just love the color of this denim. I love everything about this jacket. And when you pick it up, ooh, here is the back of it. The back of it has rips too. I just, I love this jacket. I wear it so much. And if you follow me on Snapchat, you know how much I wear this jacket. Maybe a little too much, but once again, this is from the Zoffel app. I Well, the Zoffel website. I have the app, so I order everything off the app because I always have like in-app deals. Um, but yeah, I was just this has been the denim jacket that I can't stop wearing. I I plan my outfits around this jacket so I can wear it, and I really like it for here because I want to be able to wear fall clothing and winter clothing. But it's so warm here, but this doesn't keep me hot because of like the rips and stuff. I can wear this on like a 75 degree day, and I'm totally good. So. I love this jacket so much and I had to share with you guys like when I feel the need to share a fashion item on a favorites video that says a lot um because I never share fashion in these videos so <laughs> I love it I just want to hug it <sighs> so yeah that has just been an obsession of mine all right another rarity of mine is sharing skincare and favorites videos like it takes a lot for me to be like you need to know about this skincare product and yeah eye cream I just did a review video for you guys that is amazing um but since I did a video on that already I didn't feel the need to mention it but these two are life-changing products that you all need in your life I'm telling you you, you need it if you have Vers if you have Varsali drops FOMO fear of missing out because they are expensive you know, look no further. This is the Derma E Radiant Glow Face Oil. Oh my God. <laughs> it is amazing. Um, this is, um, it has jojoba oil, argan, and sea buckthorn oils. And also, if you know Sunkiss Alba here on YouTube, she actually created this in collaboration with Derma E. I'm not sure if it's a limited edition or not. I'll have a link to it below so I would jump on it. But you guys, it's so luminous, it's so moisturizing, but it's a face oil, so even if you have dry skin, you know, you still want to use oils, because, you know, your skin, I mean, if you, even if you have oily skin, your skin is oily because it's trying to compensate for the oils it's not getting, so always use a face oil. I love this, and I really like Derma E because it's really well priced, um, with really good ingredients, so, I mean, jump on this oil it's amazing a little bit goes a long way i love this scent it just it makes your skin so luminous i i love this so if you've been wanting to try the varsali drops but you don't really want to pay that much jump on this i'm serious it's it's amazing it is amazing the other thing i've basically used uh, ugh, i've used so much of this like you can't really see but it's like halfway down this is like a miracle serum i love this this is the derma e purifying youth serum um, this is freaking amazing. It has marine algae and green tea. If you guys remember, I used the Michael Todd al um, green algae and green tea toner. Love it. This, oh my gosh. My skin was, had been like freaking out because I, I was using the Smashbox primer. Just like I can use a Smashbox primer, but if I use it every single day over and over and over, my skin started to break out. And I've been using this, it's gone. Like my skin can just be irritated. But I put this on at night and my skin just looks brand new in the morning. I love this so much. So I just had to mention it. And once again, it is so rare that I mention skincare products. So if I'm mentioning it, it's for a good reason. So I'll have a link to this down below as well. All right, that wraps up my favorites. Let me share with you a couple things that did not work out for me. So, um, all right. So for product disappointments, on the other end of the lash spectrum, also from Coco Lashes, this is the lash glue. And you guys, it's terrible. I'm sorry, Coco Lashes, but your lash glue is not that good. It um, I thought it was the lashes because I tried the Coco Lashes with this, and like it wouldn't stick, and I would let it dry for like a minute, half, two minutes. You know, it wasn't getting tacky, and like it would just take forever to get my lashes to stay on. I was like, oh my gosh, these Coco Lashes are so hard to work with. But you know, I spent the money on them, so I want to keep making them work. 
and so it annoyed me so I just decided to grab my duo lash glue and then it worked and I just assumed that you know cuz I don't know I didn't really think anything of it so then I used this lash glue again for like some lashes that I would never have an issue applying the lashes wouldn't stay on like they wouldn't like dry they wouldn't adhere to my skin it is this lash glue you guys I have used so much of this product already and it's it's gone to waste essentially because I keep trying to use it and it just doesn't work so I'm sorry to say but the Coco lash glue did not work for me I prefer my duo lash glue over this <laughs> so I'm sorry Coco lashes but you gotta go in the bad bin all right so the next one I did do a video on recently um this is kind of a tricky one for me this is the Kiko Milano eyeshadow palette and it's it's kind of tricky for me to mention this because overall I liked my makeup whenever I use this but I didn't enjoy the experience with applying it. I mean, it swatches okay. Like, well, when I swatched it, you know, I was like, okay, that's pretty promising. But these shadows, I, I didn't think I'd ever say this. These are, these shadows are too soft. Like, they swatch okay, but they just blend away immediately. Like, they just, here, let me show you. Yeah. So I'm going to take the darkest shade right here. I'm going to show you this is exactly what I mean. And I'm just going to swatch it on my hand right here right right so then you go to blend it out right it basically just like blend like look how light that is this is supposed to be a black it just it was really underwhelming and I have so many colors in these sh I have so many products with these shades that I'm gonna just have to pass on this from here on out it uh overall I liked my makeup but it wasn't what I expected and on top of that it just I don't know it just didn't wow me so I'm gonna have to say this was a big miss for me and then this one I also am kind of torn I'm not gonna say it's a miss this was good I liked it I enjoy it but um there's two shades in here so I'm really mentioning it for two of the shades the two browns right here are terrible like they're just terrible they're, they're so bad these two browns right here have like no pigment they swatch amazingly, but then when I apply my eyes, there's no pigment. And they just blend right away. But these shimmers in here are, like, freaking amazing. So I'm just mentioning it for these two shadow, for these two shadows right here. Um, I will be avoiding these two shadows. I'm going to continue to use this palette. I just wanted you to know that these two shadows right here, they ain't good. <laughs> All right. So two more, wait, three more I no, two more items right here. This is the um, Catrice All Around Contouring Palette. This, I like the shades in it, but this is just, it's too dry. I couldn't work with it. It's just, it's too, it's, it's not creamy enough for me. So it's just, it's way too hard to work with. I love the shades in it, but it's just, once again, way too hard to work with. So this is like the first Catrice item that is a pass for me. And then this is the one that is the most depressing. Like, I'm, I'm genuinely upset that I don't like this. Um, this is the Morphe 350 Matte Palette. I was so stoked when I ordered this. Like, I was beyond stoked. But it's just, I don't know what they did. It's just terrible. It's chalky. It, a lot of the shadows just blended right away. Um, I really had issues with the dark shades in this palette. Um, it's, it's not the same matte formula that is in the 350. Like, I expected the same formula but it's not like it's it's not good and that's really sad to me because I was so excited about this I'm gonna keep playing around with it but the first you know I've tried it three times that it's just so I'm feeling right now like it's so dry it's dry um, so it's hard to work with it doesn't blend well when it does it blends away and I'm just really disappointed about it because I was so looking forward to just having an all matte of the shades that I love because you know, I wanted it for my clients, and it just is bad. <laughs> Let me know if you had that experience with 350 Matte. Did it feel drier? I have no idea, but maybe it's just the one I got. I don't know, but I don't like it. So, anyways, 
that wraps up my November beauty hits and misses. Let me know in the comments what you have been loving for the month of November and what you've just been loving in general. I like to try new products all the time. So let me know what I should try out down below. Let me know if you have had similar experiences, opposite experiences with any of these products. I'm really curious to know your thoughts. So yeah, that's everything for this video. I really hope you are enjoying the idea of the 25 days of Christmas. Give this video a thumbs up so I know to do these kinds of things next year. Um, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see videos from me every single day all the way through Christmas. And also check out my vlog channel. I'm doing Vlogmas over there. And I think that's everything. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Mwah! Goodbye.